Hey everyone, Jeremy Payne and John Kanika here with the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. Uh, we wanted to talk a little bit today about the market here in DFW and a lot of times you, you name cities and talk about some of these places that are hot markets or cooling down markets but it's hard to get a picture of that on a map sometimes if you're not super familiar with the area. So we we're going to show you guys a little bit of, of kind of what's going on and what we're seeing the trends uh, look like in today's market and so uh, from the buyer side as a buyer's agent I'm noticing kind of Richardson is kind of our home base that's where our office is uh, I live here in Plano so I know this area very uh, very intimately and so uh, you know at a price point of like anywhere between 250 to three hundred thousand dollars things are flying off the shelf right it's very very hot in this area that's kind of the starter home uh, price point in these areas and you'll find out as you move a little further out, uh, the price point drops a tiny bit um, and the, the competition doesn't necessarily drop down, but uh, it just kind of depends. So as you move north into Allen, Frisco, uh, McKinney here in this area, uh, you're going to find the price point stays about the same. It's hard to get anything below 250 to 275. Um, and the competition is still very, very hot and it's homes at that price are going off the market uh, often in less than three or four days. Um, as you get out a little bit into the, a little bit more of undeveloped areas of DFW, you've got Lucas here, you've got Anna up here, um, Prosper up here, kind of this outlying region. As you find these larger corporations moving into North DFW, you've got a bunch of them coming in kind of in this epicenter here. Um, these homes, these markets are just only going to continue getting hotter. Um, and a lot of times the prices are reflecting that. People know that people are looking to move into these outer regions where traffic isn't quite as bad yet. Um, and you can still find undeveloped land. Um, you know, as you get back down into the Dallas area, uh, Farmers Branch, Addison, Carrollton, all of these cities have already been fully built out for the most part. So if you're going to find uh, a good deal, it's going to be on something that um, either needs work or it's something that um, honestly is going to have to be rebuilt because it's there's no new land to be developed out here. Um, so not quite as hot of a market necessarily. Now there's obviously hot pockets of areas here that, that uh, you know, homes are moving very quickly and, and above the average price. Um, but for the most part, you know, here's kind of your hot spot. You've got a lot of the future moving this way as DFW continues to expand and new businesses come into this area. Um, but, but that's kind of the, the high level from the buyer side. John, you want to talk a little bit about the seller side and, and what you're seeing? Yeah, sure. So on the seller side, for example, in Richardson, we list a property, Plano, this area, Addison, right in this area here. If we listed, it typically is sold in about two days. The further you go out, that starts to slow down a little bit, more so like the Little Elm, a little bit north of Frisco, McKinney, a little bit north of those. All in here, seven to ten days maybe, but as you get further out, the further you go, typically this, it slows down on how quick. But this whole area right here, Addison Farmers, Richardson Garland, right in this whole area, even Rockwall, things sell pretty quick, but still a little bit slower. Uh, Murphy, Wally, Saxe. That area all up in here is just at a little bit slower pace. So we're talking still less, what most people consider flying off the market, less than 14 days typically to sell still in this area. But as you get just get a little bit further to reach out, it starts to slow down a little bit more. And so that's the update uh, for the market right now. If you guys have any questions or want to know a little bit more about a specific area, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Feel free to call us and uh, we will be happy to work with you. Thanks, guys. Hey folks, thanks for watching the video. Remember, check the description. We always put links to resources and uh, advice and suggestions down there. Click subscribe so you'll get new videos when we send those out. And uh, comment below and we'll do new videos and topics that are important to you.